Hey everybody, how's it going today? It's Alyssa from songofmyheartstampers.com and I finally remembered to get my little sign together to show you where you can get all these cool products I've been demonstrating. <laughs> you wouldn't know it, that, but I've been in business for 17 years and I continually forget to tell you that you can get the products from me. Aren't I silly? Well, you did not come to hear a sales pitch today. Actually, you came to see what a computer guard a, a computer geek get well card i'll get it out looks like and this is it i am getting a lot of text messages from my daughter <laughs> so i apologize for the beeping sounds that are happening um this is my geeky card made with the tech support stamp set a brand new stamp set from stampin up and it says i'm sorry to hear you have a virus isn't that silly? I just love it. It's so funny. And I have been coming up with the most fun um, card layouts inspired by um, the computer and kind of a techie modern. All right, Natalie. <laughs> she keeps texting me. Um, normally that would make me very happy, but I'm live, sweetie. <laughs> um, so here's my designs. I don't think I've shared these before, but we'll just go through them quickly in case you haven't seen them yet. There's another one with this cute Kleenex box. Now the Kleenex box is not in the tech support stamp set. That comes from a different stamp set called Speedy Recovery. And yes, I bought it specifically for the Kleenex box because I absolutely love that. Isn't that cute? So there's Speedy Recovery and the rest of these are made with all tech support. Error 404, age not found. Love that. That would work for anybody's birthday. And then look in here. I'm thinking of you. <laughs> the little weight symbol. The endlessly, endlessly spinning circle. I love it. Here's a cute one. You auto-complete me. <laughs> and then another birthday card here with a little bit of a um, office, office theme. Industrial office here with paper clips, some staples and some twine kind of fun all right so let's make this one's my favorite isn't it just gorgeous clean and simple i think i'm going to make some graduation cards with that but let's make our get well card today first i want to show you where tech support is in the catalog and if you don't have a catalog please let me know and i will make sure you get one it is on the bottom of page 82 and it's kind of hidden down here because it doesn't really have any big images um, so it's really overwhelmed by the other stamp sets on the page. So don't forget, it's on the bottom of page 82. And if you have computer geeks in your family and IT nerds in your uh, circles, you will want that stamp set for sure. So let's make this virus card today. We actually made this here at Embellish with my, um, stamp campers on Thursday night at our teens and tweens card buffet. And I know that many of my stamping ladies get techie help from their teens and tweens, so myself included. So I thought that would be a really cute set to use for them. All right, so I'm starting with a Coastal Cabana card base. And I think, hang on, let me grab my ruler. Is this the bases I messed up on? Yes. I messed up when I cut these and they are about a quarter of an inch too short for a regular card base. So just be aware that my measurements are going to be for this card base that is a teeny bit shorter than normal. And then we have basic gray is our largest panel. It feels like two. It is two. Just making up the leftovers from our card buffet. So I've got Lots of random pieces here on my desk. Then I have a strip, a very small strip. Um, it's only three quarters of an inch wide of pumpkin. Um, pumpkin pie. And then Mango Melody, this gorgeous bright orange, almost a neon orange. Love that color. And you so seldom get to use it, you know, because it's so bright and in your face. It really is an accent color. But these two really hot colors are cooled down by the coolness of the Coastal Cabana and the basic gray. And then the addition of some crisp white. And we have a really good color combo with um, great proportions between the cool colors and the, the warm colors. 
All right, so those are our pieces. Let me give you some measurements here in case you're going to try and make this one at home. This one is two and three quarters by four inches. And then four inches by one inch. That'll be our top part. And then this little strip is only three quarters of an inch wide and four inches. Oh, no, nope, not four inches. Three and three quarters um, wide this way and the reason for that is normally when you are making your background you want to build it up in a four inch increment because it's four inches across here let me lay this down see that four inches would give you this beautiful one eighth of an inch border all the way around right so when you're adding your pieces together normally you'd want to come up with four but i wanted a bigger border see how this is a full quarter of an inch all the way around so my pieces need to add up to three and three quarters inches instead of four all right so a little math involved if you're building a background like this i wanted my pieces all to fit perfectly because that's just less confusing for my stamp campers but if you're at home, you can have these pieces overlap and it doesn't really have to be as precise as we made it. Now, before I glue them down, I'm going to stamp on my background piece here. And I'm using pumpkin pie ink on the mango melody cardstock. And I'm going to stamp the um, keys here. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it. It does not have to be precise. There we go. So that'll look more like a keyboard and then on the uh, basic gray I'm using basic gray ink and the strip of code stamps so it's got zeros and ones all over it randomly little lines and again I'm just gonna eyeball it and stamp down the page so you're like oh you're good at eyeballing well there you go I just made a mistake <laughs> If you make a mistake, you should um, flip it over and try again, and you might get it just perfect next time. However, if you make a mistake right off the bat, then go ahead and continue to make slant stamping and do it mistaken on purpose, and then it will look like a design choice instead of a boo-boo. There we go. Either one of these would be perfectly fine, the crookedy one or the straight one. All right, I'm gonna use a straight one just since I actually did get that almost perfectly stamped. Um, to me, if you have to worry about perfection too much, it's not fun anymore. So that's my philosophy. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to use our liquid glue to position this because all these pieces are gonna be working together and I don't want any of the blue background showing between my pieces. So it's important to me to be able to move them a little bit, whoops, or a lot. There we go. To double check my borders and keep them moving so that I can um, make sure my layout is precise. Perfect. Cute, okay, so it fits just perfectly. When I blog about this card, I will be sure to put the exact measurements on because I know nobody likes to guess on that. And I will probably change the measurements so that, um, ooh, I should have stamped on that first before I glued it down, right? Never glue anything down that still needs to be stamped. Well, let's see if I can get it right. This is where our little, so sorry to hear you have a virus in a cute computer style font love that oh that is dark ink i must have just re-inked that it's a little darker but it'll fade see see that one's fading already okay so um anyway yes i will provide the measurements and fix them for the card that is the right size too because i know you probably don't want to chop off your card base unless like me you've cut it wrong and you're looking for cards that are <laughs> a quarter inch shorter all right so i pre-stamped and cut out my cute little kleenex box absolutely love him and i've stamped him in um coastal cabana ink to match my background and i'm going to put him up on a couple of dimensionals 
Now you could use just one to put this on, but then your piece would rock when it when it's touched. It might move or bounce up and down a little bit. So two will keep it stable and hold it exactly where you want it to be and it won't be bouncing up and down. I put my Kleenex box at a little bit of an angle just because everything else on this card is so straight and so precise that you want the Kleenex box to throw a little chaos in there. Okay, and then this part's so fun. This is actual tissue paper, and I have torn off little tiny squares and balled them up. So fun. And unpacked them a little bit here. And then I'm going to lay down some, you don't want to use liquid glue for this part because look, the tissue paper will just soak up the liquid glue and it will fall off the card and that's really annoying. So I'm going to use um, glue dots. You can also use tear and tape, which is a very strong, or you can use um, a couple of thick runs of seal and seal plus on it. All right, so here's my crumpled tissue and I'm mashing it down onto the glue dot so it is going to stay it's going to stay put this is so cute i love it it's so unexpected and it doesn't stick up very far so it's not going to interfere with the card being mailed and it's like literally the cheapest embellishment ever right <laughs> fun oh doesn't that look like a card that would make you smile if you had a cold i think it definitely would um, all right, I'm going to add a little bit of these glossy dots here and there. Let's see. And that just sort of adds to the sick room atmosphere of our card here. All right, we're finished. Isn't that cute? So tech support stamp set. Absolutely love it. It's on page uh, 82 way down hiding at the bottom. I promise you, you probably missed it the first time. And it's available from me, from lissa.stampinup.net is where you go if you want to shop. And if you want me to mail you a free catalog, um, lissa at songofmyheartstudios.com. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you think of me when you think of Stampin' Up. Have a great rest of your day.